Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. Please do subscribe to my channel and give it a like to this video. In this video, we are going to answer a question on the transition activity. Now, when you hear this transition activity, it is part of your state machine. Let's read the question. In a UiPath state machine, what are the three sections found within a transition activity when it's expanded? Okay, the questions are the options are entry, condition, and action, entry, exit, and transitions, trigger, condition, and exit, trigger, condition, and action. Now, which one of these are right? Now, this might confuse you. Transition activity, what is a transition activity? In, the, in my previous demo, you might have already seen it, but let me show you. The moment you have a state activity and you are connecting it to, let's say, another state, another activity of state machine let's say n state or any other state the moment you keep it what happened a transition get created for example if i'm going to drag and drop let's say another state activity the moment i drag and drop and dra so what happened another activity that get added this is known as transition if you click on it you can see that activity so this is what it is talking about this transition activity contains three different sections what are the trigger condition and action trigger condition action okay so here your option is trigger condition and action where do you find this documentation this is the documentation i'll pass this link in the description of the video you can have a check here if you see the transition activity cannot be dragged from the activities panel like a conventional activity it is generated when you link a state to another state or to a final state. Just now we saw it. So very important point, you cannot drag this activity from the activity panel. It get automatically created when you link it, when you link a state to another state or final state. Within a state machine container, this activity helps you input conditions under which the automation project can pass from one state to another. So what is the purpose? To pass from one state to another state. Pretty simple. Okay. You can find out more. Okay. Leave that. Now look at this option. States can be linked to multiple transitions. So you can link one state to multiple transitions, right? For example, if I drag and drop another state here, now can I link it? Yes. So you can, you can have multiple different states. States can be linked to multiple transitions. So you can see one state has got now two transitions. Like that you can have more than one. Each describing a possible way to pass from a state to another. Clear? Very important. And we saw this condition. The condition under which the state can be trans transcended. That means it can move from one state to another state. And in the previous video, I have given complete demo. That demo is very important. Please do have a check. Okay, so I hope you will be able to, you know, why this answer is correct. Trigger, condition, and action. So thank you. Now I have another slide prepared and have created few questions. And these questions are framed based on this particular documentation. Now let's see if you can answer those questions as well. So here it is. Now let's go through these questions and see if you can answer them. Let's get started. The very first question, which of the following statement is ab about the transition activity in UiPath state machine is correct. Options are A, the transition activity can be dragged from the activities panel directly. So just now you cannot do it, right? So this is a wrong answer. B, it helps input conditions for passing from one state. So there is a condition in the transition, this one, for passing from one state to another within a state machine container. Is this right? C. Line breaks are supported in the condition expression field. Is this one correct? D. It only accepts string variable. So what is the right option? Please do comment. Okay. You commenting on my videos are very important. So please do comment. It is nice to always see people are participating for the effort that I have put to create and help you guys in different ways. Now here the answer let me reveal. It is B. It helps input conditions for passing from one state to another. Hope you had the, you have commented the same option. Question number two. 
what does the transition activity allow you to define within a state machine in UiPath? Options are, now always read these options carefully. This might confuse you and you might go and select a wrong, wrong answer. So be very careful. State execution order, the conditions for moving from one state to another. What do you use this transition activity for? C, activities to be performed within each state. Do you define the activities to be performed in within each state or state machine display names? What is what do you really use it for? Now, please do comment your answer. I'm pretty sure most of you will go right on this question because this is pretty simple. You use a transition for writing conditions, right? The conditions for moving from one state to another. Let's see the question number three. What is notable about the relationship between states and transitions in a state machine? Options are each transition can move between multiple states. So each transition, can the transition move or from one state to another state you move through the transition? Okay. B, states can have only one transition. A state can only have one transition. Is that true? C, states can be linked to multiple transitions. From a single state, you can link it to multiple transitions. D, transitions are limited to linking to two states only. You can only link it to two different states. Now, out of this, what is the right one? Please do comment your answer. Okay. I hope you have already commented. Now let me reveal the answer. The answer is states can be linked to multiple transitions. From one state, you can link to multiple different, you know, you can have multiple transitions from one state and connect to other different states. All right, guys, I hope you have given all the answers correctly. Now let's move on to our next topic.